Welcome back to more Innocent Life, a futuristic harvest moon, everybody. So in the last episode, we made it all the way back here into the forest area beyond the mist because we now have to uh, find these uh, sprites. Yes, we do. Now, uh, in the past, they were, I think, over here somewhere, but I don't think they're there anymore. I believe they're like higher up now or something. They should be. Yep, here they are. All right, let's talk. I've been waiting for you, Shiny. Do you have the crest of the forest spirit? Thank you. Then we can use my memory to go where the forest spirit sleeps. Please follow me. Okay, sure. Let's do this. Oh wow, they just cleared that spot right there. Let's run through. This is the crest of the forest spirit. Now we can return to our true form. We can regain our power as the lord of the forest. Thank you, Shiny. This is a warm memory indeed. I will treasure it. Okay. And the three of them become... Ah, yes, this form suits me best. Can you believe that anyone would turn an old spirit like me into those three tiny nature sprites? The water spirit can certainly hold a grudge, but this just goes to prove that it's not one's appearance, but rather what's inside that counts. In any case, please accept my belated thanks, Shiny. Feel free to pass through at any time to reach the tower at Mermaid Lake. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, um, doesn't this resemble, like, Ocarina of Time? Like the giant Deku tree? <laughs> Almost? I don't know. Um, anyway. The evening bell rings, so I don't actually have too much time yet for today. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and claim some chests here. So this is a giant's axe, which is, of course, the improved axe. There's a green jewel right there. Uh, we are, I believe, able to actually make a complete set. Uh, is there something over here? No. We can make a complete set of green jewels, I believe. Um, I'm pretty sure, at least. Like, it's also, it's also just, like, really late, so I should probably just go to, like, bed or something, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, we're going to... Okay, we are, we're going to claim this red jewel here, so... I guess what you want to do is start by looking at everywhere where there's treasure. There's another green jewel, okay. Uh, there's over here, I don't think there's anything, there's not. We're just kind of looking at the entire zone first. So I came in from the bottom down there, down there. there's nothing over there. Actually, there is something over there. What the heck am I talking about? There is one treasure chest that we ended up missing, and that's this one. Got the red jewel. Okay, they give you so many red jewels in this game. I, I think red and blue are the two most common jewels that they give you in this game. All right. Next one is this one. That's another red jewel, speaking of, right? And there's nothing over there. Now let's go up this way. There might be something this way. Uh, that just loops back that way. Okay, now we just gotta take any of these. I don't think that it's that confusing because it actually loops in itself. And I'll explain what that means in just a little bit. But this here's a new zone. Now uh, there's gonna be a couple more chests here. Here's a green jewel. I think that's the third one and we already had one. Orange jewel. There we go. And then this, okay, nothing over there. Now let's check down here. Here's another chest. Purple jewel. Um, okay. Next up is, here's another one. That's a red jewel. And we are done here. Um, I'm gonna keep going over to the right because we went right. And now we're going to keep going th that way further. Because, look at that. See, see that? It loops around. So if you go left, you'll appear obviously on the other side. And then that, that makes sense. That makes complete sense. So that's actually it. Um, in terms of what we have to do now, though, I actually... Oh, great. Now oh, we got the night bell. So what's nice here is that we... Oh, wait, my bad. So we got one purple, we got three of those, okay, perfect. That's actually exactly what we need right now, uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and go back now. Even though obviously the you know we can explore the tree and we want to get over to the mermaid tower, it's really late, and also we should actually fill up the, uh, the jewel sets anyway and complete them because we are going to need access to a specific uh, thing um, tomorrow. A door needs to open, specifically the uh, green door. So I guess I should mention this, but um, the purple jewels 
or the purple doors or whatever purple doors are the only purpose they really have is they serve as shortcuts essentially um, if you remember like all different pathways that were that would have worked as shortcuts for us um, they were always purple doors so purple doors only have the perk of allowing you to travel easier between different areas which is nice but it's not required at all the green door there's only one green door in the game and the green door actually is uh, mandatory if you want to complete the story of the game so you have to get all four green jewels and then the orange jewels um, those are mostly for post game stuff uh, you get access to a couple different doors and stuff like that which I can definitely talk about later um, but I believe all the orange doors are actually located in your ruins here there's like two down here at the bottom and there's like two more two or three more uh, beyond in the cave um, so in the cave in this floor right here so yeah all right we're gonna go up to the farm because before we sleep it's very important that we grab ourselves the green jewel we have two orange jewels um, and then we have a bunch of red yellow blue okay I'll take out the orange ones um, but I am going to actually put away the ones that I already have at least one set of I guess I can also get rid of these seed bags and I don't really need the seed bags the other thing I should get rid of too and once I get rid of these seed bags you'll see is the um oh my god I have so many dude how many seed bags do I there we go cheese okay so I ended up picking the giant's axe which is an upgraded um, axe however actually I just realized we never actually level up our axe all the way through so there's no point in actually um, equipping this axe because our stats yeah we still need 70 I will show you the axe really quick though a description uh, an axe once owned by legendary giant wood cut by this axe is always a valuable resource okay let's go ahead and put away the giant's axe because it's useless to us right now so we have four green we're gonna put the red ones away we don't need any more red ones for now and um, okay we have one purple we have three orange we're missing one orange as you can see okay not bad so let's go to purple and we have to complete the I guess I'll do that sure okay that one's purple here we go purple oh by the way sometimes you'll actually notice that these jewels are floating um, once they start floating it means that enough time has actually passed since you first put them and what that basically means is that um oh my god once this goes there we go what this basically means is that you are then able to mix and match jewels like you seriously can you can match jewels um, and you get some very interesting effects I'm not an expert with that I don't really know how all that works but just know you can do that and you won't lose the bonuses by removing one jewel in there so it's pretty nice all right so there's green we did that too that's actually pretty good oh wow there's a lot of stuff here that we can we can just get a bunch of experience here oh wow are we actually gonna reach how much more we need 22 more we need to hit four more oh there's not gonna be enough though unfortunately maybe some down here in the bottom corner oh here's one but I think that's it we made it down to 16 we, we gotta hit three more okay so both of them are done uh, like both of the jewel sets I mean are done so now all we're going to do is we are going to go to bed without saving we got a big day ahead of us all right let's go up to the farm because I don't know if you have to trigger this event I'm just doing it just to be safe there we go all right perfect so with that we are now free to go on to the next place that we need to go to there's actually two different options that we have um, I suppose I'll actually just go back to the tree you already know the pathway there so I will meet you over there okay back over here in the tree we're going to now enter it 
And here it is, the first dungeon in Ocarina of Time. Alright, <laughs> just kidding. Alright, so, I think this one is pretty straightforward to be honest. Um, it may seem a little complicated, but it's really not. Um, once you kind of just know what to do. First of all, there's uh, this here. Earth Hammer, that is the best hammer in the game. That is level 3 right there. And I don't think there's anything else over here. So then there's this thing, and you actually want to uh, get on this shell here. And it's going to uh, move you automatically into... I believe it should be the tower right away. Yeah, so we can't control this. We can control a couple other shells in here. Okay, right here. Now we can. We can control it here. We can move wherever we want to. So... I suppose I'll start by... What's over here? Anything? That's just mining. I'm not gonna mine. There's no point in, you know, spending a lot of time mining. Uh, what's down here? Anything? Uh, there is nothing else over here, so I'll just, uh... Get out of here. Sure. We're gonna go up these stairs. So, let's see. In this room... Oh, it's one of these puzzles. That's right. Alright, so th these puzzles are actually fairly straightforward. A little monotonous, but... Because you gotta do this twice, and you have to push two statues each time you do this. But essentially what you're doing is you are pushing these statues into those squares that you see right there. So it's nothing too crazy at all. Yeah, this part's gonna feel very like adventure exploration, like in less of a Harvest Moon game, which is kind of weird. But, <laughs> you know? Alright, so... And push that all the way through. Okay, there we go. And with this, the water rises. So here we have three ways to go. We can go up the stairs, we can go down this way, or we can go up the shell. I'm going to actually go up the shell first. Um, I don't believe there's any other things on the side. Let me just make sure. If there's like any secret treasure or anything, you know, I don't think so, but okay, it doesn't seem like it. We're good. Alright, so let's just go ahead and proceed up. Okay, so then here we have to do basically the same thing again. Um, let's go ahead and push it like that. Okay, and then down. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Whoa, I am... What, what the heck? I am glitched. I am very much glitched. Uh, the game is glitching badly. I think I need to actually destroy these things or something. Oh, come on. Oh, I should have just said yes. Dang it. I can't believe I'm running into a crazy glitch here. It's literally not letting me... Okay, now it should work. That was very strange. I don't think I had ever experienced that before. Like anything like that, you know, when it comes to like being next to the stones for mining and stuff like that. Alright. So now the water is up here. And that's actually all that we had to do here in this side, so we're just going to go back now. I'm going to take our shell here. And then there are two ways to go. Um, I'm going to go down this way first. Over here we have a treasure chest. We are going to go ahead and open this. Enchanted hoe. That's the best hoe in the game. So we have the best watering can, the best hoe, the best hammer, and the best axe. We're only missing the sickle. We are missing the best sickle in the game. I believe that's all that's left. And then there's nothing over there. Okay. Well, that's it. Now we're going to go the only other direction, and that's up the stairs here. Alright, so here there's two more treasures. We have a blue jewel armor that we're looking for orange. Orange would be the nice one. That was looking to unlock the final seal. Uh, let's see. I can go to the right, or can I go up this way? Yes, but actually, hold on. I think what I should be doing is completing this puzzle first, maybe. Actually, I'm not totally sure. Um, okay, so we have... Uh, these are the seasons. Basically, you press them in order. So that's spring. The summer is the sun. 
Then we have fall, and then we have winter. Very simple puzzle, of course, very simple. Okay, but by doing that, then this opens up, and then we can go through it. And, okay, we got another bell. The evening bell just rang, yeah, whatever. Okay, so we have another shell there. Um, I see. Let's actually go ahead and explore here first. To see what we can do. Aha, there's two more, oh, four more treasures, wow. Okay, here we have a blue jewel. Another blue jewel, okay. Another blue jewel, wonderful. And a fourth blue jewel. Amazing, amazing. Okay, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Because now there's only one thing left to do, and that is to go up here. There's nothing on the left and right in this area. So you made it this far, did you? Very well. I'll return the Water Spirit's Crest that I was holding for you. The Hermit gave you the Water Spirit's Crest. Because this crest was originally stolen by humans, it can only be returned by another human. Now then, place the crest on the altar. What's wrong? You're not going to try and tell me that you're not human, are you? Why would you have human status if you weren't human? Hmm. Now hurry. This coal isn't good for my joints. Okay. We're gonna place the crest. You place the Water Spirit's Crest on the altar. Whoa. Thank you for returning my power to me, Shiny. I am the Water Spirit, the mother of all life. Your efforts in the ruins are solely helping return life to this island, but I'm afraid that the Fire Spirit's anger cannot be appeased with my power alone. But there's a small chance. You must combine my power with the Ice Grail that sleeps under East Lake. In winter, the surface of East Lake freezes. You can cross it to reach the Ice Grail. And it is now winter. Stand back, please. If my power were to touch you, you would be obliterated. Wow. Okay, so this water spirit is going to unlock a pathway in the giant ice lake, frozen lake. Um, and we're going to be going there, but not quite soon. Because the game doesn't really tell you this, at least not directly, but you, if you try to go there now, it's going to block you from going, because you actually need another item first. You need the fire crest, and we don't have it. So we have to explore another dungeon first. Okay, but well we're done there. Nothing else to do here. Uh, the hermit's actually gone. What the heck, that's random. Uh, but there was one thing left that we didn't actually explore here in this dungeon, and that's up there. Uh, so let's go check that out to see if there is actually anything in this area that I missed. Uh, let's see. Nothing on that side. I don't believe there's... Oh, wait, no. This is just going back that same way, I think. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, we're just back in the same place. Okay. thought it was a new area, but no, it just loops back in the other side. Yeah. This is back in the other floor. Okay. I mean, that, that makes sense. Alright, so I'm actually going to go ahead and call it a day. Because it's late and we still have to explore the entire next uh, dungeon, which is not... Oh, man. it's It'll take a while, let's just say. It'll take a while. So, give me a sec as I make a cut. Okay, back in this cave uh, once again. The one that you've already seen me do plenty of times. Um, so, if you actually go to the right... Um, and once again, this is the cave that was uh, initially blocked by branches that the Hermit eventually helped us go into a while ago. So if you go up, um, it would be to the right side. Wait, I think this is actually the wrong way. Oh, no, 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 they both lead to the same thing. Alright, so over here, this green door, you have to have the green seal unlocked. And if we go beyond it, the buggy doesn't fit over here, by the way. Um, this is not really a point. Uh, but this long, long trail... That'll take us all the way down to the bottom where the lava is. This is where we're going to be getting the fire crest. So we have to make our way over there. So, so yeah, you know. <laughs> there are going to be some treasures. On the way down, as you can see, we already saw like two over there. And here's uh, two more. Wow, so we've already seen at least, at least four. And I believe the final orange jewel should actually be here. Any other jewel we don't really need, because um, we're not going to be caring about making more squares full of jewels, you know? That's, that's fine. Um, and there's... Okay, that's nothing. Just making sure, you know? Just got to make sure. Nothing over there? Nope. Okay. So, it's, I mean, it's very straightforward, you know? It's very, very straightforward. 
Where's the other chest? Here it is. Is this, is this the orange? This is the flame sickle. Oh, that's the other thing we were missing too. The flame sickle. That's right. Okay, so it's already the afternoon, but that's 10 a.m. By the way, it's the 27th because uh, I ended up skipping two days because the following day, the 26th, there was actually a storm and I was walking so slow. I was like, I'm not about to do this. So I just ended up, you know, sleeping again. I just figured it was good to do that. And yeah, that's what happened. And that's a yellow jewel. Okay. All right, that's it for this room. We can just go ahead and be done with that. Alright, this room is much smaller, so that's good. There's a couple treasures over here. Here's a purple jewel, we'll take that. And that's a yellow jewel. Still no fourth orange jewel, unfortunately. Hmm. It'll be here somewhere. Somewhere. Okay, then there's two pathways to go here. Um, one of these may actually take me to a treasure. Well, there's nothing there. Oh, here's two. That's another... Oh, so many jewels. Purple jewel, yellow jewel. Okay, let me check this little pathway here. Whoa. Did I walk there? <laughs> well, I mean, that's where I came from, but I didn't realize that. That, like, the ground literally looked like that. Like, oh my god. Okay. Next place. That's a red jewel. They just give us another red jewel, okay. Um, anything over there? Don't think there's anything yet. There's nothing there, okay. Just making sure. There's more treasures. There it is, orange jewel. I'm pretty sure we only need one more orange jewel. I think we have three. Or did we have two? Well, whatever, we got two now. Actually, we may have only had two. I'm pretty sure. So that's why you needed both of those. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, anything here? Let's see, nothing there. Nothing there either. All right, let's keep going. I believe this is the final room here. And we got even more treasures on the way. This one is another red jewel. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how, like, by the end of the game, they, they just didn't care. Like, yeah, we're just going to give you everything. Like, every red jewel, every blue jewel, every yellow every jewel, you know? Like, oh my gosh. Is there anything else over here? I don't believe there is. Nope. The fire crest. We found it. That's what we needed to do. So now I have to go all the way back, which is actually going to take, like, forever to get back there. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut. Okay, so I'm actually back at my farm, so I have to go ahead and place this or these orange jewels. So I actually have five, which means, yes, I only needed one more. I already had three. I kind of knew that. I was going a little crazy, but... Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to place these orange ones. Uh, because we actually want to make the set. Okay, that's two. Number three. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do, but the hammer can do that, actually. I guess I should demonstrate that real soon, in case you're wondering. Alright, that's all four. So if you just keep hitting it a couple times... There we go. Nice. It smashes the big rocks. Alright, we're going into the entrance, uh, ruins entrance now. Because we need to make our way into the new location. So now we have this fire crest. We're good to go. It's pretty simple, actually. Uh, yeah, so we can't open those orange doors yet because we have to wait a day. You know, for them to actually work. So, we are gonna go... Which way is it? I think it's... Oh, great. Great. I think it should be... Is it this way? Oh, no. It's this way. There's like a pathway down here somewhere, isn't there? I'm actually not sure if it's this one or a room on the left. No, it is this one. It is this one. Okay. Right here. Here's a fisherman, by the way. Hello, dude. So basically, it's over here on the left side, this place. You cannot take your buggy in there, you have to actually go in person. Am I doing that? Look at that. We are now in a new area. Blue Jewel. Okay. Now this area is actually really quick if you just want to finish the game and talk to the fire spirit. 
but there's also a couple more items you can get here. Um, if you... Okay, so if you go up the stairs, you basically make it to the final event of the game, and that leads to, like, the... whatever. We're not doing that right now, though. We're actually gonna go down here. You can actually jump here. I don't know how you would actually, actually kind of figure that out. I mean, I guess it won't be too bad, because you see the map that's kind of helping you out there? Like, hey, there's something there, you know? But, there's this. Cool pins. The cool pins, you essentially have to give it to, um... Wait, where is it? Here it is. You have to give it to Millen. A badge made out of pins that are cool as ice is a present for a wind spirit. It can help a man keep his cool, especially if he's nervous about talking to a woman. Damn, I could have used that five years ago. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. Well, actually, maybe not really. You know, you got to build that confidence eventually over the years. No, but um, uh, this whole area is completely optional. All of this. Oh, great. The oh, that's the afternoon bell. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Alright, so I guess we'll just go down here. There's actually nothing over there. Alright. Now let's go to the right. Here's a chest. Another blue jewel. Wow, so many jewels. So many jewels. Alright, nothing there. There's another chest over here. That one's a yellow jewel. But yes, that whole cool pins thing, that's for like post-game stuff, if you ever do want to see like them getting married, because I think it eventually happens if you give that angel's item to the girl and then you give the cool pins to him. Um, okay, so we're done here. Now there is no way to get back up over there, so we have to go around. This door here was perhaps one of the earliest yellow doors in the game that we saw, but it was actually a one-way door. And this actually takes us back into the uh, second cave of the game, if you remember. So like, I'm just gonna, yep, remember this place? Bottom right, uh, bottom, sorry, top left is actually the entrance of the dungeon. And now we're back out here, as you can see. Nice. The downside is that we kind of have to walk all the way around because we don't actually have our buggy. Great. Okay, we are back here. We're just gonna go ahead and drop on down now. Awesome, awesome. And all we are basically doing in here as I mentioned before, is this time we're going to take the stairs up this way. The area is shrouded in the frozen silence. This must be the place that others call the Ice Grail. Do you want to place the Fire Spirit's crest on the altar? Yes. Let's do it. Whoa. Are you the one who summoned me here? How could someone like you? This must be the work of the water spirit. It will take more than this quench to more than this to quench my anger. In fact, you're just fanning my flames. This looks like an RPG like we're about to fight a boss or something. Stop, Fire Spirit. You've been angry long enough. Calm yourself. Shut up, water spirit. I won't give in to you. There is no need to fight. Come. What is happening? What the heck is happening? What is this? I feel good. It's as if the world returned to its original condition. At last you understand. We spirits were meant to work together to protect this world, not threaten it. Don't take all the credit. After all, you didn't do it by yourself, did you? No, I could not have done it without Shiny's help. You've done very well, Shiny. Now then, it is time that you return home. Okay. Seems like we calmed the fire spirit. Yep. And your vanish and the Heartflame Island was safe from destruction. When you returned to the town, all the townspeople said that they had heard what the fire spirit had said. And they all held you as a hero. Whoa. You did it, Shiny. I guess you were a real boy after all. But with all the excitement, I'm afraid I didn't have time to get to a proper reward, but I sent 10 containers of Earth Power Sand to your item box. That's actually worth a lot of money. It's 2,000 for each container. Wow. 
and please accept this certificate. It's from all the citizens of Volcano Town. Shiny Grain succeeded where countless others had failed. He saved Heartflame Island from destruction and brought life back to the Easter Ruins. And we, the people of Heartflame Island, offer him our heartfelt thanks and welcome him as a citizen. Signed, Chuck Gremley, Volcano Town Representative. Wow, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, Shiny. Be sure to talk to the other townspeople as well. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, I gotta walk around these things here. You're just wonderful. Maybe Franco isn't as bad as I thought. After all, he did help you, didn't he? Ah, uh, okay. I underestimated you. You deserve a rest. Leave the future of this town to me. The water surface sparkles. I imagine your heart shines much the same way, doesn't it, Shiny? It's so bright, I can even see Masami's beautiful face. Wow. The heck? What a peaceful and defenseless little town. He should be well within their power to control a town of this size. Okay, this little alien guy is actually part of the post game, which I'm not going to be doing because it's really stupid and I'll explain why. Um, who brought that weird stuffed animal here? This is an important day for Shiny. We don't have time to be wasting with toys. That blue stuffed animal is very well made. It's a regular work of art. I particularly like the way the eyes will sparkle from time to time, almost like it's alive. Huh. Shiny, the doctor, he's... Oh no. Oh no. Dr. Hope woke up just a few moments ago. Hello, Shiny. I'm glad you came. You did it. I knew you could. You brought about a miracle. I only hope that something will happen to reward you for all of your hard work. Don't worry about me. I've had a good life. No, it was a great life. And being able to talk to you to the very end makes mine complete. I put Vita in charge of all of my affairs. If you need anything, please talk to her. Farewell. I wish you every happiness. This is actually really sad. Um, is he... Is he dead? Doctor. Shiny. Oh, wow. I'm generating tears. Hmm? Look, Shiny, you're crying. You're crying real tears. Shiny, Shiny. Wow. I actually cried real tears, and with that, that makes me human, right? Dr. Hope did pass away, but he passed away with his dream coming true. Of his innocent life, meaning me. Actually being the innocent life that he had dreamed it had been. Wow, and that takes us to the credits. It's actually very sad and emotional. Um, th this game is it's very interesting because you know obviously when you think about the game, uh, the, or sorry, the year that the game was being developed and eventually released, which was around uh, 2006 to 2007. By this point, there really hadn't been too many Harvest Moon games uh, beyond. Well, I mean, like obviously all like the N64, PS1, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance were. But everything beyond it, like, it was around the starting point of when the DS Harvest Moons were coming out. So even things like Island of Happiness, Sunshine Islands, like, those things that hadn't existed, neither had, like, Tree of Tranquility. Those things that still had not existed. So when you compare this game to everything available, oh, and A Wonderful Life had already been out, too. When you compare this to everything that had already been out, you honestly look at this and you're like, it's very unique. It, it is very different because... Obviously the whole futuristic thing is different, right? But a lot of different gameplay elements are so different. So, so different. Like, even the simple fact of like... I, I mean, there's actually a lot of things, but even the simple fact of like, oh, you can't actually feed your animals. You know, like, little stuff like that, like, that's unheard of. What kind of Harvest Moon game, you know, like, doesn't let you feed your animals? The answer is no Harvest Moon games except this one. Because it's a spin-off and it's a very interesting and, you know, unique game for what it is. The gameplay uh, can get very dull sometimes because the pacing is not the best, I will say that. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty good. The music is also very good, in my opinion. The story is sad. Um, it's up there on par in terms of story, like with A Wonderful Life. Um, a Wonderful Life and Innocent Life 
<laughs> funny they both have the word life in it. A Wonderful Life and Innocent Life, to me, both have the, more emo the most emotional stories for being Harvest Moon games. Every other Harvest Moon game typically has like a silly, uplifting tone and that's it. You know? Uh, but those two games that I just mentioned are an exception. They actually have rather sad endings. I'm not going to spoil a wonderful life sad ending if you haven't seen that Let's Play, but I've done, a, I've done a Let's Play of it and it was 165 videos long. Granted, a lot of the videos are only 10 to 15 minutes long, so if you, you know, take 30 to 35 minute episodes into consideration like this, you want to split that in half. So it's really about 70 to 80 episodes in length. Um, but still, it's a very long playthrough. Anyway, this here sets up the post game. I'll never understand it. Why didn't my machine work like I planned? And that gas sticking the way it did. It's all very strange. We use all the latest technology. There can't have been any mistakes. Wait a minute. Yeah, so let me just talk about the post game now. Whoa. The post game is incredibly dumb. What the heck? Of course, that must be it. Figure something out. So the post game, first of all, is where you can actually see, um, you know, uh, Million and, in my case, Emma would, would be getting married. But that's not the main post game. The main, the main post game is to, um, that you get assigned a task by the fire spirit. There's a couple steps to get to that part, but when you get to that part, and it involves the alien that we saw, I call it the alien, but eventually what ends up happening is that you get this task, and the task is very different if you're playing the PSP version or the PS2 version. If you're playing the PSP version, you get two years to harvest 1,000 crops. Which is actually not difficult. Two whole years to harvest a thousand crops in this game is easy, mainly because of the fact that there's a lot of crops in this game that they give you crops every single day, like tomatoes and strawberries and stuff like that, and all those count for one each, which is nice. Um, however, oh, let me wait. Which file is it? It'd be this one. However, um, if you're playing the PS2 version. I guess they figured out that it was too easy, so they decided to like up the difficulty, but not a little bit, tremendously. You now have only one year instead of two years. And if you're thinking, one year for a thousand crop is still easy, right? Yes, but get this. It's one year for 5,000 crops. So they half the time, they literally half the time, oh, by the way, this is an orange door. They half the time, you know, that you get, and they multiply the amount of crops times five. Yes, times five. Like, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, to sum it up, it's really stupid. Um, all that just for getting like a little post game, like, oh, you did it, and that's it. By the way, there's also a bad ending in this game. Oh, actually, before I talk about that, adding, there's two more orange doors in that area. There's a total of three, but they all just lead to, like, rocks that you can just smash. And I don't really know the whole purpose of that, honestly. I'm going to get out of here and go to the rooms on the right. Uh, there is a bad ending, and the bad ending is also really sad. Um, I highly recommend that you go, in, that you go ahead and uh, look it up on YouTube if you want to see the sad ending, because it is actually a bad ending. It really is bad. Um, so, there is that, too. Uh, what the heck is this? I'm actually not sure what this is for. I don't remember. But, okay, so you have this little area here. And then, there's another orange door over here, as well. What are these for? Oh, oh, it's this guy, that's right. The food around here is so delicious, I could live here forever. Wow. So this guy just happened to move in. Okay. But yeah, all of this is for post-game stuff. Um, I'm not going to be doing it. I, there's just not really a point to me doing it, to be honest. But other than that, I'm done with this playthrough. So, before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoy the video or the series. I will see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great day.